we, as every other nation, should know uh, its history. Our new generation should know its history, ancient history, and which territories we were living on and how to go back. And I'm sure that we will go back, but we will go back, as I said many times, not on tanks. We will go back by cars, by trains. Self-determination is one of the important principles of international law. But if we go back to uh, UN Charter, if we go back to Helsinki Final Act, we'll see that self-determination should not damage territorial integrity of the countries. Another important point, the territorial integrity of the country cannot be changed by force and cannot be changed without an agreement of the people of the country. It's our land, we regained it, we regained it uh, by uh, force, we regained it giving uh, our uh, victims, we will never step back from them and we will rebuild the cities, we will rebuild the villages, we will return the initial names because Armenians committed a cultural genocide against us, they destroyed all the mosques on the occupied territories, they keep pigs and cows in the mosques, thus insulting the feelings of all the Muslims. They change the names of our cities, change the names of our villages. All the names will go back. We will go back to our lands. This is our legitimate right. This is a historical uh, task for us, and I'm sure we'll succeed. This is uh, false information. It has no proofs. I already made uh, statements about that. Turkey is our brotherly country. From the very first day of Armenian attack, from the very first hour, Turkey expressed its full support to Azerbaijan. My brother, President Erdogan, many times made very important statements that Turkey is next to Azerbaijan and uh, Azerbaijan is not alone. We feel the support. We are very grateful to our Turkish brothers and president and other officials. But Turkey in no other way is involved in the, in the conflict. 